what is the best concrete mix design for a feathered edge concrete? And a feathered edge just means like a like the concrete is four inches thick, but it's going to taper off until zero. That zero is the feathered edge. <laughs> that zero is the feathered edge. And the thing about that is that's kind of a tall ask for any concrete or mortar application. It doesn't really work except for kind of one application, which is overlay or a self-leveling style of mix. And this product, if you were to buy it off the shelves, which is readily available to you, is expensive and augmented heavily with admixtures to make it really liquidy without compromising the strength and to bond really aggressively to most surfaces. So what if you're in a situation where you're trying to make that mix on your own? Like you're aware those products ex exist, you're just not buying it or you can't buy it or whatever the case is, you need to make your own using the raw ingredients. Like, I mean, you can do that, right? Pretty much. You, you can kind of do that. Let's talk about doing that here. So first, with a fe feathered edge, we don't need any gravel in this mix design. So the mix design is going to start with the backbone of Portland cement and sand. And the ratio proportion, if you're new to mix design, everything's based on the cement component. So one cement component. For me, it's this little Tupperware dish here. It could be a dish. It could be one shovelful. It could be one five-gallon bucketful. Whatever the case is, as long as you observe the same ratio through your mix, then it will scale up to size. So one cement component for this feathered edge mix design, one sand. And ignore the fact that my sand's a little shy here. These would represent like leveled and equal. And to that extent, it would also, if this were an engineering application, I wouldn't hope that you're not getting your information from YouTube, but also it wouldn't just be like a scoop or a shovel full. One shovel full of Portland cement and one shovel full of sand are not exactly the right mixture for the best engineered results, but we're not going for that here. If you're just using a shovel, you're just going for close enough. And the truth is, is that with a mix design such as this, if you get it pretty close, if you're 80% close with your mix design here, you've done exceedingly well on your own. So we're going to go with the one scoop of cement and the one scoop of sand. And the reason why is the cement is a binder. It needs something to bind. So we're giving it some sand to grab onto. So, and the sand needs to be not play sand, which is tumbled and rounded and doesn't have the, you know, the random edges to it that uh, a rough sand would be, so, or a sharp sand. And that's what this product is. Sharp masonry sand free of stones, sticks, bottle caps, etc. One cement, one sand, and is that it? Not even close. If you just did that, you just made mortar, it's not going to really do what you want. Like, you'll feather edge it, but it will fail over time. And so here's what we're going to do. We're going to drastically enhance the, the potential for bonding and for a feathered edge without having that long-term breakage. And we're going to accomplish it more or less the same way that the bag products go about doing it. We are going to add an admixture. They add a ton of admixtures. We're going to add at least this one. So this is an acrylic fortifier. Don't worry about the brand quick, quick read. If you don't have this, there will be something available to you in your area that go in the concrete aisle looks for something that's a thin, white, milky liquid, and that's the stuff, acrylic or latex fortifier. And what we're going to do is you can add this to a concrete mix in varying proportions depending on the results you're trying to get. In this particular instance, what we're trying to get is the most difficult request from this mortar. We're asking it to feather edge and not fail and bond and be true right to a, a zero finish that's hard to do so we have to go aggressive and what we're going to do is we're going to take the water that we're going to use to make our mix and we're going to replace 50 percent of it with this product so it's going to be an expensive mix 50 percent of the liquid component and if you're unsure how much liquid component you're going to need just make up a batch of your liquid which is going to be 50 percent acrylic fortifier 50 percent water and use that to make the your uh your batched mixtures with and that way you're sure to always be using 50 50. so 50 percent of the liquid component is an acrylic fortifier this is going to 
enhance the ability for this mortar to zero edge and to bond aggressively to the old substrate there. I mean, you still have to have a properly prepared old substrate. It can't be really smooth and sheen and just a plane for delamination. It has to be rough and it has to have 3D structure to it such that we can get some purchase onto this with our new bonding layer. When we zero edge this concrete, and it doesn't, this could be like a new pour, but most zero edge applications are a parge or a bond of some kind, so that's why I'm referring to it. So we mix up a bucket, it's 50% water, 50% acrylic fortifier. We use that to batch our mixes of one part Portland cement, type normal, type general use, one part sharp sand, and that's going to give us a product that has a much, much higher likelihood of bonding and going to a feather edge without immediately failing. And if you did nothing else, just exactly as I've described here, you're probably going to experience a, a feather edge and it probably won't fail or at least will have some measure of longevity to it, uh, which is pretty good again for a feathered edge finish. If there was one more thing, if there was another step that we could take that could get us closer to there, what would it be? And it would be a water reducer or super plasticizer product. Now these come in all different, different forms and powder and liquid and it depends on the manufacturer and the type, there's different kinds as well. And essentially what this does is it, it's like, it's kind of like what adding soap to a concrete mix would be like, like not in terms of the bubbles, but just in terms of like the, like it's slippery. It makes it more slippery and as a result, the concrete acts in a way like you've added a bunch of extra water. So if you want to, like, uh, what's happening here, just picture adding a whole bunch of extra water to your concrete mix, whatever it is, and then mixing it up, and it's just going to be soup, right? It's exactly what this stuff does, but it doesn't compromise the strength like adding too much water would. Universally, if you added that much extra water to your concrete mix, it compromises the finished strength drastically. This product allows you to get to that really thin viscosity without compromising the strength. So you use a bunch of water reducer in addition to using something like an acrylic or latex, and that's going to give you a thin, pourable, feathered edge concrete with a very high ability to bond to existing substrates and to feather down to a zero edge. So, I mean, that's a pretty technical approach to trying to just answer a simple question, how do I make this concrete really thin at the edges? For most people, it's just going to be the addition of a heavy dose of the acrylic fortifier. For some people who are trying to explore to the maximum degree how well you can do this and replace the bagged products, I, can, I mean the bagged products, the, the self-leveling uh, overlay mixtures, those are the best ones. Like if you have one of those, they're expensive, but they're an engineered level product. They just, just didn't use one shovel of this and one shovel of that. They were a little more careful than, it, than that. But if you want to get pretty close on those results at home at the bench top level, one to one, cement to sand, replace half of your water with an acrylic fortifier, and that's going to get you pretty close. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel.